Welcome, welcome everybody to Stamp in Peace with Mary Nave. It is Tuesday, February 28th. Um, I don't typically go live here on Stamp in Peace with Mary Nave on Tuesdays, but um, yesterday, just as I was about to hit the live button at four o'clock yesterday, um, the tornado siren started. So I thought, no, I'll be a nervous wreck if I'm trying to um, be listen if I'm going to be listening to tornado sirens and trying to do my live and then kind of keeping an eye um, on the weather. So it was best just to cancel it. I was fine, but ironically, as soon as I canceled the Facebook Live, my sister called me. I said, "Yes, I'm in the basement." but um, I did need to move to a different part of my basement because um, the only window I have down here is a big egress window and it's basically right there. Um, so I did move to a safer part of the basement. I hope wherever you were um, or are this week, I know people are getting crazy weather in lots of the country. Please stay safe um, and watch out for others as well. Um, last time we met, so that would have been last Wednesday, still doing my blogging classes, so not doing Facebook Lives on Fridays right now, but the last time we met was last Wednesday, and it was a lesson in simple stamping. Uh, stamps, ink, and paper, or as I like to recall it, or call it, kiss and sip. Keep it simple stamping with stamps, ink, and paper. So if you haven't seen that featuring the Playing in the Rain stamp set, I hope you go back um, to that video and watch it. It is just about to load to my um, blog, stampinpeace.com, a little bit later this evening. Um, just need to do a couple little edits and um, it's ready to go. Uh, what else? Today, February 28th, very last day of celebration. So if there's anything you left you want from this celebration brochure, tonight is the night, okay? We also have those online extras as well that you can get as freebies for celebration. And it is not too late to take advantage of the joining offer, okay? The sale ends at, uh, let's say, 11.50, 11.50 Mountain Time, 11.50 Mountain Time. So uh, as long as you have your um, orders in by then, you should be fine. As long as you um, join by then, you'll still be able to take advantage of the join offer. I'm so happy um, with my team. Um, I added nine, or no, I added six new members to my Mary Stampers team myself. And then in addition to that, I believe we, oh, I have to, I've kind of lost count in the last few days. I believe in addition to that, the rest of the team, we've added, I think nine more members, but the day's not over, right? Um, so just don't, don't think it's too late. You still have a few hours. Tomorrow, March 1st, is a big day because Stampin' Up! is, um, will have online exclusives. Every four months, Stampin' Up! is going to have a collection of online exclusives. These are products that will not be in any of our catalogs. They will simply be online, just like our online kits collection. Um, they are not up in the United States until midnight mountain time, uh, March 1st tonight. So uh, please know that if you go to um, my website now, you won't be able to see those online exclusives yet because they're not live yet here in the United States. But you'll definitely want to check that out tomorrow. Um, I'm hoping to jump on for just a very quick Facebook Live to show people how to access those online exclusives. Um, we had a pre-order, a sneak peek of some of the products. What is on that flyer is not all. I know for a fact um, there is a bundle, there's a couple circle punches, there are some dies, so good things to come, all right? 
and they will only be sold online. Oh, what else do I have for you? Um, I announced two classes. Both of them are Easter classes. One features the Easter Bunny stamp set. The other features the Rejoice in Him stamp set. Great for those who celebrate Easter religiously, but also there are some sentiments and things in here, images in here, that I also would use for baptisms, first communions, um, things like that. And let me just give you a quick peek. All right. Um, I do have to post these to my blog. If you want the link for either of these, um, please let me know. And I will send that to you right away. If you're on my newsletter, you would have already received an email with the class information in it. And then there will be another um, newsletter going out tomorrow about the online exclusives. It will also include information about these two classes to go. Um, and I think that's it. I think we're ready to get started on today's project. I'm going to be showing you a new product that you can get from the online exclusives and a bundle that I don't think I've shown too much um, in the last month or so. So I'll be making two cards. Stay with me right to the end because you're going to get some good ideas for using embossing folders and um, then I'll give some cards away. While I'm flipping my camera, please share this live video and invite others to join us on this Tuesday afternoon. Okay, so um, this bundle that we're using today, Happy Labels, um, in particular, the stamp, You're Going to Be Amazing Parents, and the Happy Labels Pick a Punch is a um, bundle that you can find in our mini catalog. You can purchase each of the items separately or you can purchase them together and I'll be showing you how to use that punch as well. And I'm also using the set of Basics 3D Embossing Folders, which will be, be part of the online exclusives coming out tomorrow, March 1st. Okay, only can you can only find this in the online exclusives beginning March 1st. It is a set of three a set of three embossing folders. I don't think Stampin' Up! has ever done this. You can only buy them as a set of three. They will not be sold individually, but they're intended to be very basics that you might use again and again and again without a particular theme. So here's one, it's kind of like a flowerish image, five petal flower image with some little triangles in between. This one I love, just some nice texture. And then here, um, some polka dots. And wait till you see these, these are really something. So let's get started making some cards. For the first card, I'm using polished pink and some granny apple green in addition to white. All right, I'm going to fold this card base in half. My card base, standard size, five and a half by eight and a half inches. And I scored it at four and a quarter to fold in half. Now I'm using this, um, gosh, I don't even know what to call it. Anybody have an idea of what to call this? I wish they named them. I don't think they did. Let me double check, but I don't think they named them. No, they didn't. But um, we'll just say the um, scattered lines. I don't know. If you think of a better name, let me know. Uh, oops, let's not 
the way I wanted it cut. Okay, I think I cut this wrong. Let me check the other one too. It would work this way, but no, nope, I did cut it wrong. So if you want a real tiny border like this, you would just cut at five and three eighths by four and an eighth. But I want a little bit bigger border than that. I'm gonna go ahead and trim this really quickly down to five and a quarter by four inches. So five and a quarter by four inches. I have another piece of white that also measures five and a quarter by four inches for the inside of my card. Remember, you want um, a neutral or very light color on the inside of your card so that it's easy for you to see while you're writing and it's easy for the recipient of your card to read it as well. Cross hatch. You got it, Amy, cross hatch. Gian said cross hatch. Oh, couple, why couldn't I think of that? Julie did as well. Yes, we'll call it cross hatch. I'll have to write that down. Um, I have a piece of polished pink cardstock. This measures four and a quarter by three inches. And I'm going to bring in my large stamp and cut and emboss machine. And I'm going to emboss this with the floral embossing folder. Okay. Well, hi there, Grace from Ontario. So happy to have you. Now, if you're not sure what sandwich or which plates to use when you're using the embossing folder, just look at your platform. It has directions here. So this says using the 3D embossing folders. So I need platform one, which is this. Then it shows the embossing folder with the cardstock. And then it tells me platform four on top. Remember too that when you are um, using embossing folders, you want to make sure the fold of the embossing folder goes in first, okay? The fold of the embossing folder needs to go in first. If that doesn't happen, it will likely break in two, and then it's just not going to work as well. So always make sure that your fold goes in first. All right, and that looks really good. Look at the impressions it gives. So I'm going to add this to a piece of Granny Apple Green cardstock, and that measures four and a half by three and a quarter inches. And then I'll adhere this to the center of my card front. You'll find that this is actually a very easy card. What makes it interesting is using the different um, embossing folders on it. Now I have cut a piece of white cardstock that measures one inch by four and a quarter inches. And I'm going to um, punch each end with the happy label embossing folder, or not embossing folder, punch, happy labels, banners, happy labels, pick a punch. Oof, that's a mouthful. I chose to um, cut on the top part of the punch. That just gives me a nice little delicate um, scallop edge. And then I'm going to stamp the sentiment. It says, you're going to be amazing parents. So this would be a great sentiment to use with, um, to send a congratulations card to people who just found out they're expecting, maybe even use it at a baby shower. Even for a new baby. 
you know, give the parents a little, send a card with a meal for the new parents, and this could be the sentiment on the card. Now, we're just going to add this to our card with some dimensionals. I know the last two Facebook Lives, you probably thought it was somebody else and not the real Mary Nabe making cards because the last two Facebook Lives, I didn't use any dimensionals on my cards. I think it was Jan said that's against the law. <laughs> it kind of is in my Stampin' Bee studio. It's very rare that I don't use dimensionals on cards. And we're just going to decorate this a little bit with a pretty bow and finish it off like that. You could use lots of different ribbons or embellishments on this to finish it off any way you like. I love this ribbon, the open weave ribbon. It's just soft to look at, soft to the touch, easy to make bows with. And I just kind of like that um, sheer slash satin look. Keep in mind that polished pink and the other four colors in that group of in colors will be retiring um, starting probably late March, early April. So if you have some of those colors that you really love, stock up on the cardstock, get the reinker for the inker, ink pad. So many times, it happens every year, people wait till they actually go on the last chance list and sometimes the colors sell out super quick all right um, so definitely think about that and we can even dress this up a little bit more with let me see I was looking for my iridescent rhinestones I think those will be really pretty on there I like that these Iridescent rhinestones pick up the colors in your card or your paper craft, whatever it is you're making. And I'm going to use this, I guess it's the medium size here. I'm going to put, let's see, I'm trying to decide where I want them exactly. I'm going to put one here. There really is no right or wrong with your placement of embellishments. I kept these down a little bit low on the bottom half of the card since I put the bow at the top, okay? Uh, let's see. So we're all set. And notice how those iridescent rhinestones really pick up the pink. Even when I move it in the, the light, it's picking up some of the green as well. So those are always fun to use. And now let's go ahead and make our second card. So that's card number one. Now, since I made a card for parents having a baby girl, of course, I feel the need to make a card for parents who are having a baby boy. So I've chosen to use, and I haven't used this color in a long while, I gotta remember the name, Tahitian Tide, Tahitian Tide. I haven't used this in a long time, um, several months actually, so I thought this would be a nice blue to pull out. But don't think with baby cards you have to do pink and blue. Um, really, couples nowadays aren't doing much pink and blue. They're picking any color or any theme they like, or maybe they're using like a mauve pink or a dusty rose pink or a petal pink, something like that. And there's all kinds of shades of blue. In fact, Andrea and John are doing their baby's room in like a, I'd say like a, a fun jungle theme. And um, it's really cute. At first I heard about it and I was like, oh, I don't know. You know, I tend to be pretty traditional. But, oh, it's coming along really cute. So Emily and I are using that same theme for the baby shower. 
And yay, I get to go to Cincinnati this weekend to see Emily spend the weekend with her. I'm so excited. Feels like forever since I've seen her. I know it hasn't been that long, but just miss her. So for the baby boy card, um, I want to point out that I use the same background, um, that crosshatch embossing folder. But do you see what I did differently here? I want to see if you can see this on the screen. So on the pink card, I have the crosshatch um, up, the embossed side up. For the blue card, the Tahitian Tide card, I'm putting the, um, the debossed side on top, meaning the debossed meaning it goes in. Emboss means pushed out, okay? So I think we've probably done that in the past where we play around with our embossing folders a little bit and see if we want to design some cards with um, using the debossed side, which is what I'm doing right there. Sometimes I like what both sides of the embossed cardstock like look like, and sometimes I don't. But I have to say, I always do take a good look at that. Now wait till you see these polka dots. These are really raised up. Look at that. Can you see the dimension on that? Pretty impressive. And that would be the deep off side. Also, I think pretty impressive. So like the polished pink, this piece of Tahitian Tide, whoops, at the end there, um, this piece of Tahitian Tide measures four and a quarter by three inches. And I'm adhering it to Granny Apple Green which measures four and a half by three and a quarter inches. And when I get all this on my blog, I will have the dimensions posted. That's why I like to ask people to um, subscribe to the blog or visit that blog often because that's where all the fine details go. So I take the um, a video from my Facebook Live put it there along with still photos, um, cutting dimensions, products used, etc. Oh, Kieran, yes, the antique Chanel bed spreads. Oh, I can see that. I can definitely see that, yes. All right, let's finish off this card for some parents-to-be of a little boy. Okay, I cleaned my chamois in, or my stamp in my Simply Chamois. If you don't have one of those, oh, you know what? I wanna punch this first, I think. And this time I'm going to use the opposite um, punch on the Happy Labels punch. This one has more of a um, ticket edge, I'll call it. They're both very nice. Both of those, um, you just gotta choose the one that you think is appropriate for whatever you're making at the time. Okay. Does everybody know why they have all these ridges here? Okay. These ridges are um, specifically designed to hold strips that are a half inch wide, three quarters inch wide, and one inch wide. Same thing over here. And same thing with our other banner punches. They're all designed to accommodate strips that are half inch, three quarter inch, and one inch wide. That's what makes it so versatile, and that's the reason I use those so much. Is 
In a moment, I'll give you another good look at the Happy Label stamp set. Here it is. So there's a number of sentiments. These aren't your typical thinking of you, happy birthday, but some different ones. Um, like, I love this one, love you and miss you. I've sent Emily some cards that say that. Um, I'm so happy you were born. Wouldn't that be great for a happy birthday card? Okay. How about a thank you with you've got the biggest heart? So you can see that you mix and match as well. Use them separately or mix them and match them. All right, this guy needs a little bit of embellishing. I'm not gonna overdo it, but I'm going to add some of the white classic matte dots. I think that's what they're called. Classic matte dots, yes. And let's see, I'll go here. And how about here? And maybe one right here. All right. So there are my two cards for expectant parents. Again, the sentiment comes from the Happy Labels stamp set and I used the Happy Labels Pick a Punch to um, trim the edges. One with scallops, one with the ticket edge, okay? Um, let's talk about these embossing folders just a little bit more because I um, want you to see, well, here's all three of them together, okay? And then, like I said, the reverse side, but I want you to be able to compare these side by side, embossed versus debossed, all right? Embossed versus debossed. This one, I personally prefer it just using the embossed side. I don't know if I'll use the debossed side. Um, as you saw, I like this one, the cross hatch, in both the embossed side as well as the debossed side. Just gives it um, a similar look, but real smooth. And this is the one that I, I'm, I'm working on this, but I wanna know if you see what I see. So here's the embossed side. Somebody said to them, it looks like um, the old chenille um, bed covers. I can certainly see that. Does anybody see what I see when I look at the de debossed side of this? When I look at the debossed side of these big polka dots, what I see is a golf ball. Think about those divots in the golf balls. I can certainly see that. Okay, oh, dice, yes. Lisa, I had not thought of dice, but I did think of golf balls, so Tony and I are thinking alike. Um, Julie also mentioned golf balls. Can you see it too, Lori, the golf balls? So I am working on a way, on, on, I don't know what I'm going to use to make a golf tee, but I thought what a great card that would be, a golf ball sitting on a golf tee with some green grass. Fun card, right? For any golfer, male or female, could be Mother's Day, Father's Day, birthday, whatever. So I'm working on that, trying to come up with a way to um, make a golf tee. But now Lisa Holstein has me thinking too, how could we do dice? How fun, okay? Um, keep in mind, too, that when you're using embossing folders, here I used two different sizes of cardstock on each of my cards to emboss. But keep in mind, you can also punch and die cut different shapes and run those shapes through the embossing folders, okay? And that would make a fun background or focal point of your card even, okay? 
All right, who would love to um, get a card today? Win one of these cards. <gasps> Bunko Party info for for the um, the one that you see the dice dots. Oh, that's good. Yes. Well, info about the card, right? I get it. Okay, if you are interested in having your name put into the drawing to receive one of these cards, would you please comment now? Um, happy labels, happy labels. And if you like the basics 3D embossing folder set just as much as you like the happy labels bundle, go ahead and type that in the comments as well. Basics 3D folders, or 3D embossing folders. Basics 3D embossing folders. Again, you'll be able to find this set of three embossing folders in the online exclusive section of the website tomorrow. So marynabe.stampinup.net, click shop, then you'll click, um, I believe it's called specials or promotions. And then in the drop down menu, you will click on online exclusives. And there's some great products coming. Um, I should say these are $30 for the set. So you one number, set of three, one price. But they're pretty much equal to all the other embossing folders that we sell. Um, individually, correct? But I think these um, are ones that you will enjoy for a long time because just as their name says, they're basics. They're not um, theme oriented, okay? Are there any questions for me? Any questions for me? I'm going to scroll back and just from the beginning and just make sure I didn't miss any of the questions that somebody might have posted. I don't think so. If somebody asked, um, when is our Stampin' Up trip? Not till May, not till May, um, but we are getting excited about it. Thank you very much for joining me today on Stampin' Peace with Mary Nabe. Um, oh, I forgot to say my new logo is up on my blog, stampinpeace.com. So I hope you will. Um, uh, happy labels can be found in the mini catalog. Okay, Simone? Happy labels is in the mini catalog. Um, what was I saying? Oh, my new logo is up on my blog. I've been working so hard adding more content, um, more static pages to different parts of the blog, um, and I love the way it's coming along. So please head on over to stampinpeace.com to take a look at that. And when you're there, please subscribe. I have, I have changed the subscription service for the blog, not the newsletter, just the blog. So even if you um, signed up or subscribed to the blog in the last few weeks, it's just since last week that I have changed the subscription service for my blog. And that is um, due to price and limitations on the service I was using, okay? So please sign up for my blog again. Please share it with other people you know get the word out, um, and, but I, I love the changes. I hope you do too. Have a great evening, everybody, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow evening at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Until then, happy stamping. If I can be of service to you, please contact me. Bye-bye.